How's it going everyone? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency's new tool for prioritizing vulnerabilities. Now, um, for those of you that have been following me, you know that I work in vulnerability management. That is what I've been doing for the past eight years now. Um, and they came out with this new way to prioritize vulnerabilities. Now, to kind of get everyone up to speed on what, why I'm talking about prioritizing vulnerabilities, like Cody, isn't that what CVSS is for and, you know, all that? No. So uh, let me just break down a few terms for you so you can kind of get up to speed on the kind of the problem we're running into as engineers that work in the space. So uh, CVSS score, for those that don't know, it's the Common Vulnerability Scoring System. It is a way to um, rank a vulnerability on its severity from a scale of 0 to 10. Uh, vulnerabilities being on the higher end of the scale uh, of 10 typically are going to be um, more severe vulnerabilities. However, the problem is, is the amount of vulnerabilities getting published year over year, we're running into problems where we are getting more and more uh, vulnerabilities that are ranked higher. And the thing that base CVSS scores do not take into account, it does not take into account exploitability. Now you do have the temporal factors for that, but then again, that is a toggle switch. And most of the time that's going to be coming from the vendor or some third party, like uh, the national vulnerability database. And they are going to basically give that sort of score to you, but there is really no evidence behind that claim. And the more vulnerabilities we get, the more fatigue we get, and we're more than likely going to run into an issue where we are not prioritizing vulnerabilities based on the needs of the business. Uh, if we were to basically look at a blank slate and we we're to have like 100 CVSS 10 vulnerabilities across the network evenly dispersed, where do you even begin people's you know efforts into prioritizing and triaging those vulnerabilities? Well, we are slowly working to it. We are coming up with these different things called the EPSS, which is the Exploit Prediction Scoring System, which I have talked about in a previous video, which is a way to show the likelihood of a particular vulnerability being exploited based on previous actions of uh, previous actions of that particular product being exploited. Um, this one, the SSVC, which is the Stakeholder Specific Vulnerability Category Cate Cate Categorization, that is a tongue twister for me. Um, this was just released. So this is what it says. This is what says is telling us. It is a proposed approach for vulnerability prioritization in the form of decision trees. So it's something that analysts, engineers, anyone in the company uh, can basically follow. There isn't a super high level technical boundary. And this can also take into account of teams that are actually doing patching of vulnerabilities. So if you're working with service teams and they're responsible for a subset of hosts on your network, you can have them be involved and they can help you basically prioritize vulnerabilities. Um, this decision tree can be adapted for different vulnerability management stakeholders, such as patch developers and patch appliers. Like I said, you're going to have all these different teams involved with the entire life cycle of a vulnerability. So we will go ahead and take a look at the... Uh, we'll, I guess let's just go ahead and start with a decision right now. So let's go ahead and exit this out. So exploitation, let's go ahead and use a real world example. And I will just use 2021 44228 because that number is ingrained in my head. Um, so we will go to NVD. So we will take a look at the CVSS score of this particular CVE. So we got critical. Um, Let's go ahead and copy this string right here, and we will go to first.org and use their uh, CVSS calculator. Network, attack complexity low, none, none, scope is changed, confidentiality is high, high, high. So we got a CVSS 10 of critical, exploit code maturity is going to be high, remediation level is official fix. And then report confidence is confirmed. So we got a CVSS of 9.5, but this can kind of muddy down the score itself. Uh, and then you got environmental score, which you could do. But basically, we are going to go from here. This is what we have. We have a CVSS 9.5 to 10. 
and we are going to go through the SSVC. Now, the hypothetical scenario is we are a utility company. We supply water to, you know, 10,000 people and all of our PLCs for some reason are on the internet or we don't have like a good understanding of what we have. Like this is going to be realistic. Like I'm not saying this is going to be every utility, but there's going to be utilities out there that just don't know what they have. A lot of companies don't know what they have. So we're just going to lean on the side of shit. Okay. <laughs> so uh, utility, 10,000 people, we supply water and you know, if we get popped and systems go down, you know, people go without water. So exploitation, it is confirmed active. Let's go ahead and go to gray noise. Everyone's favorite internet narc or, or gray noise is the narc for APTs and skids. So if you're one of those and you're scanning the internet, gray noise is a narc, but otherwise they're great cats. Okay. So we'll do CVE, CVE, 2021 44228 boom all right uh automate oh cool i, I gotta check that out later okay so we have 172 results whoa who's scanning benign hold on i'm just curious stitching dutch institute okay interesting uh okay so we got we got active exploitation let's see last scene 521 what day is it today 521 okay so we got active exploitation confirmed like it's if you argue that uh go take a hike okay so automatable confirmed technical impact let's see what the definition is so partial total so the partial gives the adversary limited control over Gives the adversary an important low stochastic opportunity for total control. It gives them total. It gives them total control. Like you could at this point, you could probably like do a sandbox test of the environment, but given just knowledge of it, like we know it's yes. Uh, but this is where you would actually probably test something out. Okay, so t uh, mission and well being. So let's see, mission and well being. And you know what? I, I will say, I don't really like this part. Complex decision. It's just like partial total. But then you have these three things here. You got mission and well-being, mission prevalence, and public well-being and impact. I feel like those should be separate. Not like grouped into one that is like literally the title of something. Um, okay, so partial total. What's the, what? what is total and part? I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's going to be other, maybe I don't fully understand this, but just looking at this, like it, okay. So anyways, uh, partial, let's see, low, we're, we're a utility. We provide people water, like total, like if we get popped, we get popped, uh, mission prevalence. So this one, let's take a look at the question mark. So minimal, uh, support the operation of the vulnerable component merely, uh, supports mission essential functions for one or two entities. The vulnerable component directly provides capabilities that constitute at least one MEF. I you know, I wish they would define what MEF is. That's a little tip for you guys. If you are gonna be using acronyms, define it before you continue to use the acronym. Otherwise, you're gonna be like me right now and not know what the hell that is, and I'm gonna have to click away and look it up. So, do that. Be a good cookie. Uh, okay, so. And failure may lead to overall mission failure. Well, I would say it's pretty essential. Like if we can't give people water, you know, uh, you know, you know, that's not a good time. I, 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 I would say it's not a good time. Okay. Public well-being impact. So minimal type of harm is all physical, environmental, financial, psychological. Holy shit. Uh, the effect below the threshold for all as aspects described in material. Okay, so any one or more of the conditions, physical, environmental, f uh, financial, psychological, hold. Physical harm means physical distress or injuries for users of the system or introduces occupational safety hazards or a reduction and or failure of cyber physical systems safety margins. Whoa. Environmental means a major externalities, property damage, environmental damage, 
damage imposed on other parties. Financial means, that's pretty uh, obvious. And then psychological means widespread emotional or psychological harm sufficient to cause for counseling or therapy to populations of people. We're talking about cyber scoring here, guys. This is fucking crazy. We're, we're deep in the weeds here. And then irreversible, I feel like this is like Armageddon. Like if that's what material means. Any one or more of the following conditions hold physical harm mean, means multiple fatalities likely or loss or destruction of cyber physical system of which the vulnerable component is part of environmental means extreme or serious externalities, immediate public health threat, environmental damage leading to small ecosystem collapse imposed on other parties. Holy shit. Financial means social systems, elections, financial grid supported by the software are destabilized and potentially collapse. That, I, you know what? I wouldn't say, you know, getting a PLC popped by uh, log for shell is irreversible. It's like barely material. I mean, like if you go without water for like a day, like. I don't feel like you're going to need to see counseling for that. You just go to the fucking store. Good Lord. That's just like from, that's like zero to a hundred. And then it's a hundred to a thousand. Fuck. Imagine being the analyst trying to like advise, like, like, I don't know how you would advise on something like that. There's just three levels. That's all you got. You got nothing's happening. People are going to see fucking counseling and then people are dying. Uh, I, it's so ridiculous to even put material, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and put material calculate. Of course, I figured it would be act. I figured it would be act. And then you can basically give it a CVE ID 2021 Holy shit. I would, I like reading into like the actual scores itself is kind of crazy. So coordinator, uh, include decision tree and export, and then we can export this into a JSON or PDF. The JSON can obviously be imported into everything else. Um, and then it gives you all of this right there. And then it auto populates the CVSS score leads to NIST. Uh, well, sorry, not CVSS score, the, the CVE definition. And then it points you to NIST and it kind of explains everything to you. So details, blah, blah, blah. And then here is the, uh, the tree I thought it would kind of make the tree that I chose not everything else um and then it explains everything so I guess this would be something you'd give to someone if they don't know what this is like if they don't know what SSVC is but good god that is nuts so anyways, that is it for this video, guys. If y'all enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, <laughs> uh, mission prevalence never gets or public well-being is never essential or whatever that score is. Irreversible, sorry. If we're talking about that, like, yowzas, that is like. I don't, I don't think there has ever been a time where something like irreversible, ha I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember if people died of like a uh, Stuxnet, but I know people were injured, I think, but like seeking counseling, how the fuck do you tabletop that? Like, <laughs> like this is just nuts to me. I mean, props to SZA for putting this together. It's obviously needed. This is kind of the direction we're going as far as the vulnerabilities go. Like they're very forth, they're 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 forward looking with this because like it's just it's it's no it's no longer fun in games like with the vulnerabilities. Like you you spend any time on Shoda and you you watch any of my videos, like there are some really gnarly systems on the internet that are being targeted and sandboxed on. Um and, you know, all it takes is one sophisticated adversary to have the capabilities to pull something off. And, uh, you know, and, and you know what, it, it could be things like a skid trying to do something online and they don't know the impacts of it. 
and it's just some, you know, utility somewhere that just doesn't have their shit together. And next thing you know, you got people seeking counseling because some skid put low orbit ion I'm cannon and just, you know, DOS themselves, but, you know, they pinged a host one too many times and you got fucking people in stretchers now. So anyways, that is it for this video. Oh, by the way, I got two affiliates. I got Cyber One Intel. So if you're curious about what kind of footprint you have, uh, go ahead and run a digital footprint report on yourself or others that you're authorized to do that. It will scan the internet as well as the dark net for you. And then I also have an affiliate link, the Ascension. So go ahead and check them out. They got a lot of OSINT courses uh, and I'm sure they will have something, uh, more content coming out uh, regarding using things like ChatGPT for OSINT. Uh, and it is kind of like the bleeding edge of analysis. So highly recommend them. Joe is an amazing guy and everyone at the Ascension great group of cats so definitely check them out links are in the description if you use those links it helps the channel out helps you out uh so anyways that is it for this video y'all take care you know um wait ser seriously a, a total rewrite that's your that's your prediction for velocity yeah well when you say a total rewrite do you mean starting with the skeleton or a bunch of engineers sit down with a whiteboard and say what is twitter uh revolution or reform I, I mean, I just mean like literally, like this, 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 like you could either try to uh, amend the.